Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Grown Up 5 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make shattering text in Cinema 4D without any plugins or anything. Uh, it's all in Cinema 4D, so let's get into it. So you're going to want to add some text, but you can't use MoGraph. Uh, you have to use a spline text, so click on this and then you click spline and uh, put whatever you want in here. I'll just put derp, because why not? And uh, you can set the font and do whatever you want. I'm just going to click middle, put it in the middle. Um, so yeah, here's my text. And then you want to make it editable and push by uh, pushing C on your keyboard or clicking the globe over here. And uh, now you have this text. And what you want to do is go up here to extrude. And uh, you want to put this under extrude. And you'll see it'll make it 3D, but that's actually not what we want because we'll do the 3D later. So uh, you want to set this to zero. So now it's visible, but uh, it's not. It doesn't have any depth, which is what we want. So uh, now make this editable by clicking C or the globe, and now you have some text. Uh, so now what you need to do is go into polygon mode over here, and you want to click K on your keyboard or right click and go to knife tool, and then just start cutting uh, random things in here like this. Um, I shouldn't be spending this much time on it. Uh, that's good enough. So uh, just cut some random lines in it. Uh, these are the points that's going to be shattered at. So uh, what you want to do is do Control A, and I think on Mac it's Command A, and then you want to right click, and you want to click Disconnect. And I think uh, when you do Disconnect, uh, actually let me undo that. Uh, you want to click on the. Uh, the gear thing here and then you want to uncheck preserve groups and uh, then we want to go to MoGraph fracture and we want to put this in a fracture and then we want to put uh, right click it cinema for or not cinema 40 tags simulation tags rigid body then add a floor or something for it to uh, collide with and then right click that and simulation tags collide your body and now you see if we drag this up a little bit uh, when we click play it drops and nothing happens and that's because we need to change this to explode segments and now when it drops it will shatter but that's not quite what we want yet um, we want to add a uh, I think it was in yeah simulate cloth cloth surface and what this is going to do is extrude it and the reason we didn't just do it in extrude earlier is because that would still give us these like choppy pieces and stuff. What we want is a like uh, extruded piece to come off. So that's what we're going to do with the cloth surface. So put that under fracture and then put this, the uh, text, under the cloth surface. And then in here, the uh, cloth surface, change the thickness. And now um, it'll extrude it. And when you click uh, play, you can see it shatters and there's like little cubes and pieces from uh, what it was so uh, that's how to do that uh, if you want to you can actually go to the simulation tag on the text and uh, you can change uh, it, the trigger from immediately to on collision and now nothing happens and that's because we need something to collide with it so you can add a like circle and scale it down a bit and then uh, you right click it simulation tags and collider body and then just keyframe it at 0 to be there and then keyframe it at 40 to be here and uh, now when we play it it will break the text like that and if you want to you can actually uh, make this invisible and render an editor and uh, now when you play it uh, it just breaks like that so that's how to make shattering text uh, just a quick video I thought I would make because I haven't seen any tutorials on it and I don't know I thought it was kinda of fun so yeah sorry if I went kinda of fast but that's pretty much it for this video and thanks for watching bet you didn't realize you had that much power.